Hello everyone. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to install the RL Craft uh, mod pack for your Crichton server. It's a fairly simple process, especially if you're using our dyno panel. It makes the process so much smoother. Anyways, so we're going to come to the RL Craft main page and we're going to click on the files tab. This will bring you here. You'll have the main file, which is for your Minecraft client, which is what you play on. And this is for the server, the additional files. It should say ROL server pack, um, whatever the version is. And you're going to want to download that. Now, it's 142, uh, sorry, brain fart, megabytes, so it'll take a while. So while we wait for that to download, we're going to come over to our Crichton server. And right now it's off, which is good. Uh, this is an empty server. We're going to go over to the advanced tab and we're going to want to install Forge 1.12.2. So we're going to go over to Forge on the addition. Now we're going to go to the version and you're going to want latest. This is usually the one most mod packs support. And we're going to click on install. This will take but a few seconds. You'll get a notification up top once it's done. And once, uh, once it's all done, we can continue on to the next step. And we're back. So we've gone ahead and opened the uh, SFTP client. Uh, you can use any. I personally use WinSFTP because uh, it's pretty fast. Uh, WinSCP, I should say. But um, because the mod pack is over 100 megabytes, uh, we're going to need to use the SFTP client to upload the zip. Uh, make sure you don't extract it. You're going to want to keep it in a zip form. It's way faster to upload compared to uploading all the files individually. So we're going to go over and just drag and drop the zip straight into the server. Um, depending on your upload speed, this will take some time. Uh, my upload speed is pretty garbage, so it will take me quite a while. So I will get back to you guys once that is done and we can continue on to the next step. Alrighty, now that um, we've successfully installed our LCraft, uh, we're just going to tap back into our browser. Um, if you left off where I did, you're probably still in the file manager and you don't see it anywhere. So just click on that little refresh icon right there and there it is. Now you're probably wondering why did we upload in a zip? Surely, um, you know, you can't run it in a zip and you're right. However, we have the decompress feature in the file manager. This will decompress it in pretty much an instant. Get of a second, and bam, there it is. Um, the hopefully the mod pack creator fixes this, but when you extract it, it comes in this folder instead of like all the core folders. So we can easily fix that by going over here. Let's right click, reflect, refresh, and uh, go over to the RL Craft Server Pack. Now here's all the files. You're just gonna want to uh, select them all. And then just bring them up one into the root um, into the root of the server. You can go ahead and delete that empty folder if you want. It's not needed. Won't crash your server if you don't delete it though. So it's up to you. Now we're gonna go back into our browser and um, if we refresh, I mean select those. If we refresh, everything is here. That's all good and dandy. So now we're going to want to go to the console and basically. Just start the server. Um, in theory, everything should be working just fine. You're going to have to accept the ELUA right here. And your server will start up. It'll take a while to start up because it has to start Minecraft. And then it has to install the Forge stuff if you're just installing Forge now. But all that's automated, so you don't need to worry about that. So while we wait for this to uh, update and install... Um, also, if you see that, don't worry about it, it's just the server properties generating. Uh, that's probably the only time you'll see that crash. But anyways, um, I will catch you guys once the server's spinned up. Alright, and we're back. Our server is completely spun up, and in theory everything should be working. Um, so we're just going to go over to our Minecraft client, 
and you should already have this if you refresh. Um, everything should be good to go. You should have a green check mark, and we're gonna go ahead and connect. Now, there is this issue right here. This seems to be an issue with the mod pack itself. It shouldn't really do anything uh, to you. So you just click yes, and we load right in. Oh, seems like I loaded in the water, and I cannot see for the life of me. Oh no. Well, um, this was a terrible spawn. I, I think I'm... Oh, 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 can I get up? <laughs> oh. It looks like, uh, <laughs> that was a horrible spawn. Wow. But at least it spawned me on land this time, so I'm not getting eaten by a serpent. Oh, look at that. Uh, sorry for my render distance. My computer personally can't handle that much. But yeah, server should be good and everything. Um, right click to pick stuff up. And yeah, um, everything in theory should be working. Uh, your server should be completely live. And uh, you're good to go and play with your friends or create a community for RLCraft. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we definitely plan on making a lot more in the future for mod packs. If you are a mod pack creator and want to reach out to us, we also have an affiliate system that can really help you out. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Peace.